has been able to inaugurate infrastructural projects nationwide to mark first year in office. On the foreign scene, India gains a cade, fire kills 27 people. And in sports, Benin Republic head coach unveils 25-man squad for 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers against Rwanda, Nigeria. Now the details are um, Dele Agadumo. The League of State Government has launched the EcoLearn Nigeria project to empower the future generation in the fight against climate change. Director General of PSSDC, who was represented at the event by Mr. Olushala Kolaole, emphasized the crucial role of youth in securing a sustainable future. He said EcoLearn Niger Initiative will equip public service teachers with the necessary resources and expertise to integrate climate change education into their curriculum, which aligns perfectly with the PSSDC's mission of empowering public servants and governor of Bajidis Awolo's Themes Plus agenda. Also speaking, Deputy Consul General of the Netherlands, Leonor van der Stiel, stated that delving into new areas for future benefits like renewable energy can power the entire nation, drive economic growth and create jobs while promoting healthy living. In his remarks, Director of Climate Change in the Ministry of Environment, Michael Bancoli, expressed satisfaction with the Lagos State Government's proactive approach to climate change education. The Lagos State Public Service Staff Development Center, PSSDC, has graduated 135 participants in the Local Government Administration Certificate course. The nine-month program was designed to equip public servants with the knowledge and skills necessary for effective service delivery at the local government level. Commissioner, Ministry of Establishments and Training, Afolabi Ayotayo, commended the 135 graduates for their dedication and perseverance, highlighting the critical role local government staff plays in shaping the lives of citizens and achieving efficient administration. I entirely emphasize the Lagos State Government's commitment to continuously enhance the capabilities of, pro of public servants under the leadership of government budget to align with the state's theme plus development and agenda. The representative of the permanent secretary, Ministry of Establishments and Training, Bamidele Balogo, congratulated the graduates and commended PSSDC and Lagos State Local Government Service Commission for their collaborative efforts in delivering the program. Motorists have been advised to use alternative routes due to traffic diversion along Bagada or Shoki Expressway from Alapware Ogudu to Kawash and Yamaguru in Ward Anthony Ushuri. To this end, motorists can use alternative routes from point of blockage. There is access from Ramsala area beside Bagada Council Hospital as traffic is diverted into Dia Street through New Garage by Jalad Hospital to access Bagada Phase 2 through Pedro Road to link Ikorodi Road. Also, motorists from Old Tollgate and Kato are advised to make use of Ikorodi Road to connect Anthony, while others coming from Lagos Island through Third Millen Bridge will be diverted to Adekule and Herbert Macaulay to access Anthony Oshudi through Jibu on Ikorodi Road. Motorists are implored to be patient and cooperate with the traffic management personnel to ease their movement. Meanwhile, the Lagos State Government is set to unveil the transport policy for further developmental goals, key objectives and strategic initiatives in traffic management and transportation for the residents. Commissioner for Transportation, Uluwa Shim Oshiemi, announced the completion of the policy document in readiness for its unveiling by the Governor Bajide Sonwolu. Oshiemi explained that Lagos as the commercial hub of the nation and the driving force in national development is long overdue for a comprehensive transport policy that will further facilitate economic growth, enhance quality of life and improve overall transportation accessibility. According to him, the ceremony which will have in attendance stakeholders in the transportation sector 
policy advocates and industry experts will afford the opportunity to share insights into the policy and expected outcomes towards a more efficient and sustainable transport infrastructure for the residents of the state. The Commissioner assured that the transport policy is flexible and dynamic to accommodate the integrated multimodal transport system of the state that is safe, adequate, reliable, comfortable, efficient and affordable within the framework of a progressive and competitive market economy. Now to the rest of the stories. President Balatinubu has embarked on a nationwide project inauguration spree showcasing his government's achievements in infrastructure development as its administration approaches its one-year anniversary on May 29. Tinubu, who departed Abuja for Lagos, will inaugurate several projects including the concrete paved road to Apapa and Tinkan Island ports, the refurbished Third Milan Bridge, and the rehabilitation of 330 roads and bridges across the country. According to a statement by his special advisor on information and strategy, Bayo Onanuga, the president will virtually inaugurate the iconic Lagos Calabar Superhighway, a legacy project estimated to cost around 15 trillion naira, which will connect nine coastal states. Upon his return to Abuja on Tuesday, the president will inaugurate the Southern Parkway named after him by the FCT administration and unveil the National Assembly Complex, also named in his honor. The president will also inaugurate the Way Flyover Link Bridge, the Defense Intelligence Agency headquarters, and the Naseni Portland Compressed Natural Gas Reverse Engineering Center in Otaku, among others. The wife of the president, Ulura Mitinubu, has warned that Nigerian children are at risk of losing their identity if necessary steps are not taken to make amends. Mrs. Tinubu gave the warning at an event tagged Celebrating the Nigerian Woman, organized as part of activities to mark President Bola Tinubu's first year in office. The event was specially put together to recognize the women that have made significant contributions in their various spheres of life communities and in the nation at large. Mrs. Tinubu emphasized the importance of women as the foundation of the home and society, stressing the need to continue nurturing children and instilling good morals while preserving cultural and traditional values. In our to foreign news, at least 27 people have died in a massive fire at a game's arcade in India. Flames and a huge pall of smoke could be seen rising into the sky at the building in Rakjot in the western state of Gujarat. Senior police officer Radhika Barai, while providing the updated death toll, said their identification will be difficult. There are fears more victims may still be trapped under the wreckage. The blaze broke out on Saturday afternoon when the arcade was packed with children and young people, but authorities say it has been brought under control. Now sport. Bena Republic head coach Gano Raw has named a 25-man squad for his size 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers against Rwanda in Nigeria. The squad is made up of 19 foreign-based players and six local stars. The squirrels will host Group C leaders Amavubi of Rwanda are the Stad Felix Hufne, Hufet Boni Abuja so Abidjan on Thursday, June 6, and entertain neighbors Nigeria at the same venue four days later. Meanwhile, the Super Eagles will face Bafana Bafana of South Africa at the Goswila Mabia International Stadium before the encounter with Bene. And that ends our news at 10. Just before we go, your vehicle is not a strong room. Please keep your valuables off the view of miscreants. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms, X Traffic Radio 961, Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website at trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Sowol administration initiated 500 hectares rice farm technology intervention program? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website.
Later in the news, we have the highlights of the major stories. The Lagos State Government has launched the EcoLearn Nigeria project to empower the future generation in the fight against climate change. President Bola Tinubu has embarked on a nationwide project inauguration spree showcasing his government's achievements in infrastructure development as his administration approaches its one-year anniversary on May 29. We also told you that at least 27 people have died in a massive fire at a games arcade in India. And in sport, when a Republic head coach, Gunnar Raw, has named a 25-man squad for his side's 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers against Rwanda and Nigeria. For contact with the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. That is news broadcast compiled by Adirayo Ituolaya. I am Dili Agaduma. Good morning. Thank you.